The Say No to Cyrillic initiative announced today that it has collected 650,000 signatures in favor of a referendum on official bilingualism. The group now called on the authorities to call the referendum at which voters would decide on raising the needed minority population quota for bilingualism from 30 to 50 percent of the population, as is the norm in the EU. Inspectors from the Finance Ministry will begin inspecting 114 state-run institutions as of Monday, including all ministries, institutions, agencies, state-owned companies, and six major cities. They are doing so to ensure that they are paying their contractors and suppliers within the 60-day deadline. In Parliament today, MPs are debating a 2012 report from the Conflict of Interest Commission. Opposition MPs questioned its purpose given that those caught in conflict of interest pay a small fine and continue working. Earlier, all parliamentary benches supported a proposal to send Croatian army personnel working within NATO's command structure to alliance operations abroad over the next three years. The decision is in line with the rationalization and reform of NATO's command structure. The city of Dubrovnik, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, today marks the 22nd anniversary of the worst bombing of the city during the Homeland War. Serbian and Montenegrin forces dropped more than 2,000 explosive projectiles on the city. Outnumbered 20 to 1, Croatian soldiers managed to stave off the attackers and defend the city. Among those to pay their respects to the fallen was General Ante Gotovina. President Ivo Josipovic commented on the passing of South African leader Nelson Mandela, saying that the world had lost a great man, a symbol of the fight against apartheid and a unifying factor in South Africa and around the world. In Costa do Saúpe, Brazil, groups will be drawn for the 2014 World Cup in football this afternoon. Meanwhile, in men's skiing, Croatia's Ivica Kostelic will be competing in the downhill at Beaver Creek later today. In KHL Hockey League action, Zagreb's Medvistrak beat Russian side Admiral in Vladivostok 2-0 today. Predominantly sunny in the west with more cloud cover in the east and the south of the country, accompanied by light rain and turning to snow in Posavina by nightfall. There will be a strong northeasterly on the northern Adriatic. Highs will be between 3 to 8 degrees Celsius inland, 11 to 16 on the coast.